Yeah. Hi, um, we're here outside of Gobit Lodge, and uh, we got a what do you call it? Film crew has showed up. They're doing a documentary, and we're just gonna <laughs> check out what's happening here. I heard they're uh, having a little bit of a um, baking party here today. Here's a sign. No trespassing. Indian Reserve. Trespassers will be shot. Survivors will be prosecuted. So yeah, here we got a yard sale, bake sale. This is October 5th, 2014. Going to be happening. And here's the chaos of what's happening. Here we are. We've got a whole lot of bacon going on. <laughs> so what are you making here? I'm making a cake. A cake? How many minutes for the brownies? Uh, like 18 to 20 minutes. Like the only chip cake. cake. No, we should not. This is the only cake. This is the only cake we're making? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I forgot to grab another one. When I went you know you can make one from scratch. Your mom knows the recipe. I'm pretty sure somebody else here knows the recipe, too. So, Jelly, what you making? What you making, Jelly? Can I say it? What you making? No, why no? not? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get Looks good. What's in there? Oh, look at all that chocolate. It looks good. <laughs> so, yeah, these young children, young adults, are um, preparing. Uh, they're all doing some baking, and this baking is going towards the yard sale. This is a whole bunch of more stuff going on over here. We've got muffins being made. We have pies being made. Um, okay. Oh, that one looks good. So what we're doing is the kids are... Uh, they we're having a bake sale tomorrow at the uh, Elzebukduk Arena. And the proceeds are going towards a um, celebration of our people for October 17th and I think we already have some stuff in the oven too I want to go check this out our, our kids are working very hard oh no they're sitting right there on the stove the okay the oven's being heated but our, our uh, the bake sale is being uh, and here being done the baking is all being done by our kids and then of course we're going to ask for donations from the community if anybody wants to come and uh, donate some um, baked goods uh, we're accepting all donations to help us raise some money for we're having a uh, an honoring of our people on october 17th at our community hall and this is to celebrate all of the people who showed up on the 17th and all of the uh, supporters don't grease it we uh, uh, we don't want to see the 17th as you may want a, to coat the pans or else it'll stick right as a celebration of what the RCMP did we want to celebrate what our people did and not just uh, the people of Elzebukta, the people of Kent County, the people of Nova Scotia, the people of uh, uh, gee, Ontario. We had people from British Columbia. We had people from, um, uh, you name it, there's people from everywhere that showed up. And uh, so what we want to do is we want to honor that. We want to honor them for coming out, helping us protect our land. Okay. And uh, our water, which is, look at this, such beautiful water. So, and, and it's kind of strange, too, that uh, the kids all started getting this ready. And they started getting ready and baking and getting all their ingredients out and everything. And then all of a sudden, everything came to a halt. Uh, they couldn't do anything. Nobody could. <laughs> I wonder why. And um, strangely and ironically enough, it was because there was no water. 
at, at Gobid Lodge, we have running water, but uh, it's uh, they didn't want to use it to do baking because our water is not quite uh, clean in our community. So, um, like literally, this baking project <laughs> came to a halt because there was no water. <laughs> so. Uh, the, we the, we had some men go and pick up some uh, jugs of water and they uh, look puppy sitting there waiting for some crumbs he wants a cookie too <laughs> so um, yeah once we got the water then everything went right that's your mom's by the way my mom doesn't no not you <laughs> yes which is spilt on the table now. Oh, my goodness, my elbow. <laughs> 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 on the brown ass. Oh, look, even one of the moms has gotten involved. She's helping out the kids fill the cups. So what are you making? This is a... Uh, <laughs> I, I know. Oatmeal muffins. Oh, okay, oatmeal muffins. Should put a raisin on top. Okay. <laughs> or chocolate chips. Oh, that would be good. I love chocolate and everything. <laughs> so, yeah, we got some. Uh, look at this. Look at these. Aren't they looking delish? So, what's the oatmeal for, girls? Chocolate macaroons. Chocolate macaroons. Oh, my goodness. Homemade. Oh. Can you just taste this? And what we got going over there is more muffins and more cakes. Brownies are ready to go in the oven. Brownies for my little brownie. As, as uh, Medea would say, brownies for my brownie. <laughs> oh, the brownies are going to go in. And the muffins are going in. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Here we go. Oh, this place is going to smell so oh, good. What should we put the timer on? The um. Um, they're both the same time, so. How much? The, the neighbors are gonna be jealous. Dang it, <laughs> He's there. He's just watching everything, waiting for a cookie. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're good at that. This is her second batch. She's already mixed up uh, brownies. And now she is mixing up, I think, another batch of brownies. Ooh. Brownies with chocolate chips. Oh, my goodness. This is what she's mixing up now. Oh, yeah. We're going to hide the fact that it, it's in a box. But, you know, they're just kids. Not everything is from scratch. You know, Only we, we, if we have the technology, we might as well use it, right? Now, yeah. they're watching live, and they're from Elsie. Where can they buy this tomorrow? Oh, my goodness. If you're watching live, just come on down if to weather the permits, weather it'll permits. It will be at the arena. If not, if not we we'll, might hold it here at the Gobits. At the Gobits. In so we'll, we'll put signs up anyway on the road and everything to show uh, exactly where to go and um, when you want to come in and... Uh, see the yard sale. Uh, we might have some stuff set up in the teepee. Uh, we have a fairly big area here uh, that we can set up uh, for an indoor yard sale if the weather is not that good. So we, um, that's what's going on in here right now. Um, there is a sign. Like I said, it's going to be at the Elsie Book Duke Arena. And um, Look at this. Somebody donated this. And it says COVID Lodge. So yeah, if the weather isn't any good, we'll be here. We'll probably set up something there in the teepee and have some tarps and whatnot set up. Just so that you can we still be able to have our bake sale, yard sale, and barbecue. By the way, if you love hot dogs and hamburgers, you'll be able to come down and have some. Richard, did we get hot dogs? In hamburgers? Uh, that's they were supposed to pick that up today or um, later on, I think. But uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Hey, and if anybody out there in Elsie Book Dog has red hot dogs and wants to donate them, we would love to have some for our barbecue. And moose burger, we would love to have some moose hamburger for to to make um, some burgers for 
our barbecue. So just to give you guys a little tour right now, this is the Gobud Lodge teepee. And they're having a little fire in here. It's not a sacred fire. It's just a regular fire. They're having a little fire. Oops, butt crack. <laughs> Can't show the butt crack. <laughs> in a second. And this is, believe it or not, this is the backyard of Gobit Lodge. There's a little bit of a cliff. But this is our view. This is our backyard. So it only goes to show and to understand that, um, you know, we're, we did this whole fight um, for the water, for the land, because this is our community. And look, I mean, the water is literally touching our community. We are part of this water. We are the Rishabakta River, right? And our people stood and fought for this. We, we all stood there, and we want to honor that. And on um, the 17th, Friday, October 17th, at our community hall in Elzy Bukduk, we are going to do exactly that. We want to honor the people who were there. And we have some uh, guest speakers coming in. We have, um, we're going to have a giveaway for the people that um, stood out most in our mind on that day. Uh, took the ultimate... Uh, blows if you want to say uh the um they were forefront on the um you know in our minds as far as uh you know the pepper spray and the uh you know just being um victims to our so-called protectors uh, the rcmp uh <laughs> And I, and I continue to say so-called protectors because they really didn't. Uh, they weren't there to protect and serve. They were only there to serve. And I'm going to take a walk down here. I hope I make it down. Um, they, uh, like I said, they were only here to serve. And they weren't here to serve the people that day. They were here to serve a uh, pretty much expired injunction. <laughs> um they were here to serve the uh, U.S. corporation known as SWN. They were here to serve the former government. And I say former because we just voted them out. Uh, former Premier Allward and his PC government. Um, that's what they were here to serve. And... Uh, they, they had no intentions of protecting us. They were only here to protect the government's interest and keeping... Now look at... This is our water. This is why we're here. You know? And, you know, when I say they came here to protect to serve them and that's exactly what they did and uh, by bringing out um, all of their guns and everything else that's uh, that's what they accomplished they uh, served a bogus injunction they served the uh, SWN company and um, they did it with out any um, justice because we're still fighting right now for that. Um, I, I didn't even introduce myself, but anyway, most of you probably know my, my voice. My um, So I'm just going to revert here, my screen, if it will do it. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's not doing it. So anyway, I'm just going to do this then. So, hi, I'm uh, Lorraine Clare, and um, 
I'm here doing a, a quick you stream live stream of what we're doing and uh, what's happening here and uh, at Gobit Lodge and uh, I, I was just up in the Gobit Lodge and I showed uh, what the kids are doing which is so awesome you know they're they're helping out their community by uh, <laughs> doing a, a bake sale um, and also we're joining in with a yard sale and a barbecue so um, our kids are uh, so proud of this and they want to help out so much so uh, we basically gave them a Gobit Lodge for the day and that's what they're doing they're in there baking and uh, they're having a blast um, so uh, yeah come out and uh, support them and support us and help us with the uh, you know, honoring our people uh, we're gonna have a nice big uh, like I said we're gonna have a nice big ceremony we're, uh, it's actually going to start um, the uh, day before October 16th we're going to light a sacred fire at the uh, one, Camp 134 uh, where the van had blocked the uh, SWN vehicles from uh, exiting the compound we're going to light a sacred fire right there and to honor uh, the actions that took place that day on the 29th of September and also to um, to allow people to come to 134 and say some uh, some personal prayers, some you know to receive some healing, uh, give them that chance to say you know what they need to say, and um, in you know basically in private, and uh, hope that uh, this will help begin the healing of the people, and um, really. A year later, it's time that a lot of us, you know, really started healing and really started uh, getting our strength back. And I find, you know, every day that I'm doing this live stream, it's hard, it's emotionally draining, it's physically draining. But um, every day I'm, I'm releasing um, a lot of this that I've been holding on to for a year and it's really helping me a lot and I'm hoping that it will start helping other people too just by listening to our stories and hearing what we do what we've done um, I'm hoping that people will you know come out and uh, sit and talk with us on that day on the 16th and the 17th 17th will be uh, seven the morning of the 17th we'll be moving to our community center and we'll have a um, open door for talking circles and sharing circles all day and then uh, we'll in at the supper we'll be moving on to the uh, honoring ceremony so my arm is kind of getting tired so I'm going to turn the camera back around ah, there we go oh I still have problems with my shoulders <laughs> but um, so I'm gonna head back up the hill here and see what the progress is with our uh, our bakers so I want to <laughs> it's not too... mm. so we um, just wanted to do this really quick live stream to let everybody know you know what's going on what's coming up so tomorrow at noon weather permitting I'm gonna uh, say again that uh, weather permitting we will be at the Elsie book Duke arena which is located right on the main road when you're coming into the reserve on Big Cove Road. Uh, it's pretty hard not to uh, see it. It's a very big building. It will be on your left. Oh my God, I'm out of breath here. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, we're we gonna have the fundraiser there and hope to see some of you there. Uh, if you heard about it from the live stream, from the Ustream, uh, let us know and uh, we'll give you a shout out. We might even do a Ustream right from there tomorrow. Whew. <laughs> that was a long climb. <laughs> so um, until later on this evening, we are going to uh, go live from inside the teepee. Uh, and um, we're gonna do a live stream from in there and hopefully we can get some interviews done and I'm supposed to be interviewed at the same time so with that I hope you guys uh, enjoyed maybe we should go back in and see what the progress is before we get off till here <laughs> some of our 
loyal uh, supporters here. Oh, look at this. Nice fire. <laughs> the loons have showed up. <laughs> the loonies. <laughs> yeah, so that's an interview going on in the teepee right now. So let's go back and see what the kids are doing. Oh, wow, they're fast. Wow, they're fast. Oh, 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 oh. We had a little boo boo, but oh my goodness, look at that. Brownies. Woo. You know, mistakes happen. Oh my goodness, look at this. Hey, where's the automatic mixer? Right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look, we leave them alone for a few I minutes and look at what happens. Look at this. Okay, look. <laughs> we leave them alone for a few minutes and look what happens. <laughs> you have chocolate on YouTube, Jelly? Yes, you do. Look on your nose. Oh my goodness. Can I get well, you too? as you can see, they're having lots of fun. So come on out and support us tomorrow. The kids definitely have put all of their heart and soul into this. Um, so, uh, yeah, come on out and support us tomorrow and uh, enjoy some of these beautiful desserts. All right, we'll talk to everyone later. Oh, look at this. They're all... <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm the chocolate warrior. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you're for chocolate. No. <laughs> I'm here for your chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got somebody knocking. Somebody actually knocks at Gobit? No, I guess not. I thought I heard somebody knocking at the door. Okay, so um, we're going to sign off now and uh, we'll talk to you later.